Weekend Sports is brought to you by Wolfenstein Construction. NHRA Drag Racing came to the Strip at the Las Vegas Motor Speedway this weekend and put on quite a show. Erica Enders Stevens is the current Pro Stock World Champion, and she continued her winning streak by doubling up on the K&N Horsepower Challenge, which is an event where she won herself $50,000 and a lucky fan who she represented, a Toyota Tundra. She also won her Pro Stock Division, and this is the second year in a row she won both events in Las Vegas. Richie Crampton got his first win of the season in Top Fuel, as did John Force in the Funny Car, making it his 142nd NHRA career win. The Prime Valley High School softball team barely fell short to Faith Lutheran on Thursday. They lost 7-6. Faith Lutheran was ahead 7-2 going into the bottom of the seventh inning, where the Trojans battled back, scoring four runs, but unfortunately came up one, one, one run short. The PVHS baseball team got their second conference loss to Faith Lutheran on Thursday, losing 10-2. The Trojans were held scoreless until the seventh inning. The softball team travels to Western tomorrow, but unfortunately the Western baseball team has forfeited the rest of their season. Both softball and baseball play Clark at Pahrump Valley High School on Thursday at 3.30. The boys and girls track and field teams traveled to Meadows High School in Las Vegas for an invitational. For the boys, Dylan Montgomery took second in the 110-meter hurdles. Bryce Odegaard took second in the two-mile run, and Nico Cipollini took fourth in the pole vault. For the girls' track team, Annabelle Brophy took second in the high jump, and Kaylee Havel took third in the shot put. There's a home track meet tomorrow at Pahrump Valley High School against Beatty, Clark, Spring Valley, and Western. The PGA held the Masters at Augusta Golf Course this weekend, and professional golfer Jordan Spieth had an amazing performance to claim his first Masters win at only 21 years old. Spieth finished the three-day tournament 18 under par. This is tied for the best performance at a Masters when Tiger Woods did the same thing at the same age back in 1997. This has been Weekend Sports. I'm Courtney Salman with News 46.